guys, my name is Eza and welcome back to my channel. This video, I'm going to be doing a review of Anna Kay by Jenny Lee. And Anna Kay, basically, it is a retelling of Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. So backstory on why I am obsessed with Anna basically, Karenina. I saw a Russian movie about it. I was just obsessed with it you know like how Anna Karenina w fell in love with Count Vronsky and how she just couldn't handle it she left her husband left her family for this one dude and she struggled like with herself her conscience and then with everything and next thing you know because she couldn't handle the stress she threw herself in front of a train so yes that movie left a profound effect on me so back to this book um this book honestly I'm not going to spoil it. It's going to be a non-spoiler review. But it's based on a retelling of Anna Karenina. So there's only so much that, that's non-spoilery. So okay, let's just continue with my review. It's a fun read, but it's not like a, a book that blew my mind away. It's a fun read. Didn't enjoy it so much, but didn't hate it either. You know, it's a bit meh. And the reason why I think it's a bit meh is because it's not... It's not that it's bad, but it's... It's literally like uh, like the author just like took the the words from Anna Karenina and just changed it to be more modern because the first 20 pages like the first chapter of this book if it wasn't like modern language it could be word for word Anna Karenina like word for word it is exactly the same. I felt like I was having deja vu because that was how it was in, in Anna Karenina. Like, um, what was Dolly? I think, yeah, Dolly was Stepan's uh, wife. She found out he was cheating on her and she flipped the fuck out. And um, Stepan just didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to do. Called his sister, you know, because um, Dolly actually likes Anna. And then... Yeah, I enjoyed this book, didn't really hate it, didn't really like it, and I mean the characters, they're not really relatable. I mean like how can you relate to like the 1% of the 1%, you know, they're like, they're filthy rich, they're so rich, they're, they're having sex, they're doing drugs all over the place, so you're not supposed to relate to them because you can't. But at the same time, I also kind of, I can see like how you can relate to them like personality-wise, how they're feeling, because everybody's human, right? And, but the reason, I don't know, there's nothing much for me to say about this book. It, for me, it just felt a bit meh, you know? I thought that it was going to be, it. I thought that it was going to have more punch in terms of emotional depth, kind of like Anna Karenina. Not that I read the book, I watched the movie. But when I watched the movie, I could feel Anna's pain, you know? I could feel her pain, her anguish of, like, her decision to leave her family, to just, like, to be with Count Vronsky, and then her struggles to figure out, is this the right way? Is this the right path for me to go? Like, and it's not like her husband was a bad guy. At least not that I could remember from the movie. It's not like he was a bad guy. He was just boring, you know? He was just boring and he was very like follow the rules type of guy and then she meets Count Vronsky who you know ignited such a passion in her and I and I felt that watching that movie I understood how like trapped she felt how confused she felt and how stressed she was over her decision I mean like you have to be super stressed she threw herself in front of a train so you know but when I read this book, I didn't feel all that. I just couldn't understand it. Maybe because the characters are so young. They're teenagers. I think Vronsky, Alexia Vronsky in this book is like 16. And Anna, Anna Kay is 17. So it's like when stuff happens to them in this book, I just can't understand why they're freaking out so much about it you know because it's like they're teenagers they have their whole lives in front of them as opposed to like Anna Karenina and Count Vronsky and everybody in the original book it's like they were like early 20s mid 20s by I mean back then mid 20s was basically in their 60s so you know for them choosing another life that's like 
the path less chosen was such a big issue because you not only lose friends, you lose job opportunities. You can be ostracized, you know. Your ki- not even you yourself will be ostracized. Everybody in your family will be ostracized by the community. It was a big deal. Everybody was going to be affected, you know. So it's like you can understand like the anguish that the characters feel but in this book i felt absolutely nothing because they're teenagers you know and yeah that's why i didn't really feel so much about it is it a bad book no is it enjoyable yes i quite enjoyed it although i completely did not like the ending not going to spoil it but i'm going to just say i wish it was different that's all I'm going to say. I wish it was different and the reason why I want it to be different is because, you know, this is a retelling. You could make it different. But they made it different in a in a different way, you know? And I just couldn't see why. I just couldn't see why they made the ending the way it is. This is my review. It's not very good because I there was nothing much to say. I didn't like it. It's not like I not not that I didn't like it. It's not like I hated it. It's not that I loved it. It was just meh for me. But yeah, that's it. Bye, guys.